One second, okay. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Al, and I would like to talk, uh, just initially we decided to talk about the LLM and pen test, pen test but basic, basically I think we need to explore the overall AI role in cybersecurity in general, because it's developing pretty fast and it's really important for us right now. So let me talk a bit, like introduce myself, and uh, I'm a businessman, well, I guess like 15 years of experience. I was working in uh, major U.S. corporations since uh, I think I was 18 years old. I founded several startups, and uh, basically I'm working more than 20 years in tech industry. And uh, also, in Luxembourg, we recently established the European House of Artificial Intelligence, which is basically a non-profit organization which is aimed to uh, build the largest community of AI professionals in the European Union and hopefully in, in the world as well. So uh, let me talk about a little bit uh, about artificial intelligence. So uh, because it's pretty crucial to understand how we can use it in cybersecurity. So the Stephen Hawking said that the intelligence, because we need to start with the intelligence a little bit, is a ability to adapt to a change. So basically, that's something that can be used pretty much in cybersecurity because AI in general is a flexible platform that can we can build something, uh, some tools that can be used in cybersecurity and not only in pen test in general, and also. Uh, there's a little bit doomy and gloomy <laughs> type of prediction by Nick Bostrom, and I don't think a lot of people know him, but he's pretty well known in the cyber, uh, artificial intelligence area. So he's the researcher and AI professional for more than 20 years, and he's like, has really do doomy and pretty dark predictions about AI in general. So he says that the machine intelligence is the last thing <laughs> humanity will need to invent. So that's something risky to us, right? So let me start talking about the pen tests because I'm like, I don't think like five minutes will take, we will be able to contain everything that we know about cybersecurity and AI in general, but I would like to talk about like offensive AI first. So we've uh, defined five key areas where AI can be used for offensive. And I also, like, if you talk about offensive, you can easily think about it as pen tests, <laughs> basically. It's just on which side you're on. So, of course, it's a social engineering vector. And uh, we're talking about deep fakes and phishing. There's a lot of going on in this area right now. And also in deep fake generation, anti deep fake systems. Uh, evading detection is a really interesting topic because with the large language models we can uh, create a polymorphic malware. What, what does it mean? It means that uh, the detection of the malware becomes increasing, increasingly difficult. Also we have like uh, reinforcement learning to bypass defenses, but that's something that uh, I've uh, emphasized with the bold uh, font, something that's re it's really important. Also, intelligence reconnaissance. Uh, when we think about pen test, we should build the map or mesh of attack surface. I th uh, that's something that falls into intelligence reconnaissance. So we think uh, open source intelligence and automatic uh, discovery of targets is really important uh, when you talk about uh, pen test and LLMs. That's something that can be easily done using LLMs these days. And we think if we can do it as a pen testers, so obviously a lot of bad guys, adversarials, they can do it too. So we need to build defenses against them as well. Also, that's something that I'm really professional in. It's a biometric thing. It's a credential attacks. So uh, obviously, it's it's really close to deepfakes, but at the same time, biometrics is... I think everyone knows here in this in this room what biometric is, but basically it's something that used to identify a user by uh, what this user is, not what he has or what he knows. So basically, that's the biometric thing. So the, with the LLMs, we can also 
and not only LLMs, by the way. So with the uh, all types of neural networks, we can build really, really powerful uh, adversarial attacks. Automated exploit development. That's something, well, of course, you, you can jump in on a compilot and compilot will will actually help you to build the application funds, uh, fast for, for your uh, malware. And also, well, I'm highlighted here, the malware co-pilots, it's really important. Uh, yeah, that the time is running out, so I have to go faster. So actually, that's the, I think, the most interesting slide. It's how LLMs can enhance pen testing. Uh, we use the attack uh, capability syntax ratio. So it seems like if we take... Uh, uh, like all the, uh, I'm sorry for the, uh, for the, uh, design problem here, but the thing is, out of, uh, 20, 227 of, uh, attack tactics, 125 can be used to, uh, can be automated using LLMs. So essentially, and also it's cheaper and faster. So it's, that's more than 50% of all the tactics, uh, attackers use right now can be used, uh, can be enhanced by LLMs. So, uh, a short word about real world applications. It's, uh, first thing is, uh, Pentest GPT. You can go and take it, take a picture of this slide or you can just hook up on the Google and find it. So essentially it's a open source project. So it, it allows you to run the LLMs against some specific targets. Another one and the N5S, uh, that's the, the project we're building right now. It's a proprietary again a network with the Nematron based, uh, of site or uh, offline uh, model. So it's a pretty kind of, it's a pen test applications you can try right now. So what kind of challenges we have? I'm sorry for the pace. Yeah, yeah. Ethical concerns, false positive, and security of LLMs. So yeah, that's, we're, guys, we're not going to build Skynet. So we need to be careful what we do about this. Also, um, we need to build more sophisticated, like we, we need to build more sophisticated and a targeted exploit generation so that we will be able to try this on our existing targets and build the defenses against it. So AI models itself have their own uh, weaknesses, prompt injections and training data poisoning. And one conclusion, quick thing. So uh, if we're going in cybersecurity and AI, we think responsible, strategical, and reasonable approach should be used so that we will be able to build for the better future and safe future. That's it. So sorry for taking long.